California Energy Company, Bright Source Energy, and its Israeli subsidiary, Luz2, unveiled a solar field in Israel this week that will test new technology the company plans to use during the construction of several massive solar power plants in California next year. The solar field with its 60-meter high tower and some 1,641 mirrors sits on about 12,000 square meters of Israel's southern Negev desert. The sun is a low-concentration energy source. In order to produce electricity, you have to get the, t the energy in much more concentration way in order to get to, higher temp to high temperatures. In order to do it, what we are doing, we are putting a field of mirrors. The, this mirror is an almost flat mirror, but they're not exactly flat, they are curved a little bit. The sun is uh, it, touching the mirror and reflecting from, from the mirror to the top of the tower when the receiver boiler is sitting over. This is the first unveiling to the wanting to make a public statement of the plant being in place. It's a very large facility. It covers about 120 dunam with 1,641 mirrors that can shine up to the tower. And yet it's only about one and a half to two percent of a full-size commercial plant. But it's adequate for validating that the pressure and the temperature of the steam that can be, can be produced at commercial engineering levels. Harness the sun much like a camper uses a magnifying glass to start a fire. The small flat mirrors reflect the sun's rays onto a boiler atop the central tower. When the concentrated sunlight strikes the boiler's pipes, it heats the water inside to 550 degrees Celsius, nearly 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, thus achieving a much higher operating efficiency than other solar power plants. In a commercial plant, the steam is piped from the boiler to a standard turbine where electricity is generated. From here, transmission lines carry the power to homes and businesses. BrightSource has uh, a commitment from PG&E to buy 900 megawatts of power, which is roughly the amount of power generated by a large nuclear or a coal plant. Uh, that, that those facilities will go online over the course of about five years, so we'll, we'll be developing 100 megawatts, which is one plant, and then several 200 megawatt plants after that. Uh, that commitment from PG&E to BrightSource is the single largest uh, transaction ever in the history of the solar industry. The move is part of a push to comply with California's new requirement that at least 20 percent of its electricity supplies come from renewable energy by 2010. BrightSource Energy and its Israel subsidiary Luz2 are currently at the forefront of a global race to find energy alternatives to replace fossil fuels, a race that analysts estimate is worth over 150 billion U.S. dollars per year.